Terrare was born in 1772 in rural France near Lyon. He was a boy with an enormous appetite, and by the age of 17, he was capable of devouring his entire body weight in bullock over the course of a day. After being kicked out by his parents, he travelled the country in the company of thieves and prostitutes, begging and stealing to feed his never-ending hunger. He soon became a street performer, devouring bags of apples and coins to entertain the crowds in Paris. And you thought living statues were bad. In 1792, the War of the First Coalition began. And like most men his age, Terrare signed up to join the French Revolutionary Army. Military rations couldn't keep Terrare satisfied, and he was eventually admitted to hospital for severe exhaustion. Doctors gave him quadruple rations, but even that just wasn't enough. They were baffled by the cause of his hunger, and decided that if they couldn't fill him up, they would learn more about the limits of Terrare's extreme appetite. They allowed him to eat a meal for 15 people all to himself, which he successfully devoured in its entirety before immediately falling asleep. They also gave Terrare a live cat, not as a pet. He ate the entire cat except for the bones. They fed him live snakes, lizards and puppies. They gave him an eel and he swallowed it whole without chewing. Everything they gave him, he ate. He soon returned to active duty in the military, but with a new mission. A doctor had conducted an experiment, giving Terare a small wooden box with a document inside it for him to eat. Two days later, they retrieved the document from his stool. It was proposed to the military that they could use Terare as a courier sneaking important military documents over the enemy line. The generals weren't entirely convinced though, giving him a dummy message as a test on his first mission into Prussia, but telling Terare that the documents were of great military significance. Terare was caught almost immediately, blabbed about the whole thing, and then was chained to a toilet until he passed the secret message. When the enemy found out that this message was just a test, they gave Terare a swift beating and let him go at the French border. Terare was so traumatised by it all that he signed up to any and all medical experiments to cure his appetite, just to avoid more military service. They tried various medicines to stop his appetite. None of it worked. Terare still resorted to sneaking out at night, scavenging for offal in gutters, rubbish heaps and outside butchers shops. He even attempted to drink the blood of other patients undergoing outletting. When that failed, he resorted to eating the corpses in the morgue. Then, in 1794, a 14-month-old child went missing from the hospital and Terare was immediately the prime suspect. He was chased out of the hospital by an angry mob and disappeared. He went off the grid for four years before resurfacing in Versailles with tuberculosis. A month later, he suffered from an extreme case of diarrhoea and died in hospital. When doctors finally felt brave enough to autopsy his foul-smelling corpse, they found that his gullet was abnormally wide, and when his jaws were open, you could see straight down into his stomach. His body was found filled with pus. His liver and gallbladder were abnormally large, and his stomach was enormous and covered in ulcers. Terrare could have been suffering from an extreme form of hyperthyroidism, a condition that occurs due to excessive production of thyroid hormones. So next time you eat a bit too much, take a moment to be grateful that your hunger can be satisfied and think about poor Terrare, the man who couldn't stop eating. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe or click on one of the videos above.